having a birthday party for a 90 year old aunt of mine named Sarah. And um, we all took a cruise together to the Caribbean. And it was an interesting gathering because it was 30 women, 30 African-American women who were really, we didn't know each other, but all of them were relatives or friends of relatives. And then when we went to the beach, nobody knew how to swim. <laughs> Everybody was afraid to go in the waves. And in order to overcome their fears, people began to hold a hand and then very slowly to go into the water together. And then when we got in the water, everybody laid back and started to float. So I was inspired by this idea about people, black women coming together as family in ways they had never done before and what we could learn about each other by just being in the same space at a place away from home. Play is about a family. It's about a group of women, um, you know, really led by a character who's uh, trying to bring everybody together. So she invites her family to the Caribbean for a vacation. And it's really <laughs> their time of her navigating she is, her life, trying to bring community to the family and bring the family together. They learn how to, to think about how one can support each other as family members, but also elder generations while nurturing the future generations. Uh, but I had someone from my family read it and they were like, this is none of us, but it's kind of like all of us together. I think it's relevant um, in the sense of, okay, we've all been locked up for 18 months. So either we've been locked up with our family or we've been separated from it and we're coming back to them. And I think it's so relevant to, you know, to really come to terms with what's going on in your family and the dynamics and who they are and who we are and, and that life moves forward. You know, I think mm -hmm. one of the things the pandemic has taught us is, you know, how life continues and how important it is to stay connected.